Down at the creek, Swift Creek Trading, that is. It's not about selling hats, boots, and jeans. It's about giving back to our Valley's youth and keeping our heritage and traditions alive. When you shop at Swift Creek Trading, you help us sustain agriculture. You help us perform. You help us compete. You help us brand our own businesses. So come on down to the creek. Swift Creek Trading, that is. Where your purchase supports us. Where your purchase supports us. So my name is Jen Johnson, and I'm the head teller here at the bank. So I really enjoy getting to know the people that work here. I feel like we're a really good team. I've made some friendships here. Um, I feel like we're all really supportive of each other, and I feel valued as a team member, and those efforts are recognized and appreciated. Um, when you call the Bank of Star Valley, you talk to one of us. You don't get a call center in another state. You don't get an automated system. It's one of us that are there to help you. Treat yourself to a luxurious staycation with a cozy cabin getaway at Kodiak Mountain Resort in Afton. Get the locals discount by using promo code SVI Local. Every cabin has its own oversized soaking tub, big screen TV, fireplace, and includes free breakfast. Or upgrade to the cozy couple's cabin with your own jetted jacuzzi tub. Find luxury right here with a staycation at Kodiak Mountain Resort. Use promo code SVI Local for the locals only discount. Have you checked out the most awesome Ford store in Eastern Idaho? We've been around for years. And we've got top awards in the region for customer service and satisfaction. We're Caribou Ford in Soda Springs. Right now, we have the best inventory around and more on the way. Or you can custom order your new car or truck just the way you like it. We're Caribou Ford with the famous warranty forever. And we're still keeping it simple in Soda Springs. Simplot Smoky Canyon Mine is proud to be a large part of the Star Valley community. The mine supports local families with jobs and opportunities. Smoky Canyon Mine is a major supporter of community projects. Not to mention the phosphate ore that comes from the mine helps farmers and ranchers around the nation put high quality products on your kitchen table. Simplot Smoky Canyon Mine, bringing Earth's resources to life. To learn more, visit Simplot.com. Star Valley Disposal and Royal Flush Septic have been serving the local community since 1999, including residential, commercial, and construction. Star Valley Disposal and Royal Flush Septic is your company for all of your trash needs, along with septic pumping and portable toilets. For the dependable company that has a proven trust and reliability, contact Star Valley Disposal and Royal Flush Septic at StarValleyDisposal.com. That's StarValleyDisposal.com. It's sale time at Battleson Brothers Carpet One Floor and Home in Afton. Stop by the showroom located half a block south of the Elkhorn Arch and take advantage of carpet, pad, and labor for only $2.99 per square foot. LVP is also on sale with the product available for $2.99 per square foot. Battleson Brothers also has carpet remnants available. That's Battleson Brothers Carpet One Floor and Home open in Afton, just south of the Arch. Price, quality, service. Battleson Brothers Flooring. Star Valley Physical Therapy, a division of Star Valley Health, is committed to guiding you back to great health through effective physical and occupational therapy services. Star Valley Physical Therapy offers aquatic therapy to treat conditions such as arthritis, back pain, chronic pain, joint pain, sprains, strains, and much more. Aquatic therapy allows for patients to perform activities and exercises that would normally be too painful. Learn more at starvalleyhealth.org. Live coverage of local high school sports continues now on the SVI Sports Network. Welcome to Braves Field as we get ready for this 4A West matchup between the Star Valley Braves and the Riverton Wolverines. 
If you're just joining us, the Lady Braves played first where they fell in a 6 to nothing score to the Lady Wolverines as the Braves now? and the Wolverines get set to face off in this critical 4A West matchup. As it stands right now, the Braves are in the 4 seed in the West with Riverton at the 5 seed. And so this will be a crucial game as both these teams are jockeying for position in the 4A West. As we've mentioned before, with how regionals works, that you really want to avoid being in those bottom seeds and playing that the top tier teams of Kelly Walsh and Jackson. And so this will be a crucial game for both the Wolverines and the Braves as the Wolverines come into Braves field. I really feel like it was a similar situation last year too at this time as they played each other. You know, there's a lot of emotion on the line. Yeah, and I, I think the just the style of play that both of these two squads play, I think we're in for a real treat this afternoon between the Braves and, and the Riverton Wolverines. Well, Kristoff for the shot. Oh, a, a hot one bouncer comes at the feet of the keeper. And that is how we get going here with an early start by the Braves as a quick touch and let one fly. That's going to go out of bounds. Throw in coming for Star Valley. Sessions will take this. Tries to play it up line. They're going to say handball would be my guess or out of bounds. Charlie. Charlie had a great game last game against Jackson. He was a very effective player, so excited to see what he can do today. Ball comes to the top of the 18 to Jenkins. That ball gets launched out of there by the Braves, and it will be a goal kick coming for Riverton. The Braves mark up close here as Bueller pursues here. Oh, good step by Jenkins. That gets past him, though, and it will be a run for Riverton. Riverton brings it up past midfield. This through ball is going to be too hard as... A nice save by... Well, I mean, Hale's in great position again. As Hale comes out, Hale getting the start today for the Braves. He came in in the second half of... The Jackson game and did a good job for Star Valley. Here's Session. He wants to go out wide. A little bit too hard of a touch and throw in coming in for Riverton. Riverton has played two games already this week as they went up to Kelly Walsh and played the Trojans on Tuesday where they lost to Kelly Walsh, the number four ranked team in 4A. They lost to them 4 to nothing. They then played Jackson yesterday where they met the juggernaut that is the Jackson Bronx and lost to them yesterday in Jackson with a score of 14 to 1. So Riverton looking to bounce back and, and collect a win at the end of the week. The Braves also lost to Jackson yesterday um, by a significant number, not, not as significant as 13 goals. But Jackson got them pretty good on Thursday, and so they're also looking to, to end the week with a W. Yeah, you know, we were commenting on AJ. He had a very impressive second half. I mean, he was under constant fire, and it was on goal, and he had an array of impressive saves. Here comes Riverton here. Battling along the side, here's Hurd. He's able to shield, and that ball's going to go out off of Riverton. <laughs> Canyon didn't want to play favorites of where which ball girl he got the ball from. Unable to get a foot on it. Created a Riverton possession. Grant being physical in the middle there. Oh, good first step there by Riverton. That's going to go too far, though. Picked up by Hale. Hale wants to roll this one on the ground. I like that play. Looking for McClure. McClure leaves that one to Roberts. Caden brings it back towards the middle, trying to get a left-footed touch. Oh, it does sneak pass over to Hurd. Hurd wants to one-touch this up to Bueller. Bueller's got his sleeves rolled back, trying to hit to this one, and it's going to go out of bounds off of Riverton, and it'll be a throw-in for you the know, Braves. Bueller's got such a 
an impressive kick. You don't know whether he's supposed to roll his arm sleeves up or his leg sleeves. Hey, all I know is that the general rule is once the sun's out, guns out. the guns are out. <laughs> and so I appreciate Kristoff abiding by the rules. Hey, Alan, where's yours then? Huh? But that's probably why I'm wearing long sleeves up here. Both of us. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. Good win here by Bueller. As he's going to bring it up towards this left side. Kristoff, hesitation move. Right foot. Oh, he does create a little bit of space. Just a little bit too wide. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of it. As that was a good move there by Kristoff to create some space. Just not able to get any accuracy behind that one. It'll be a goal kick coming for Riverton. You know, that was our second shot on goal and it was within the first five minutes so the Braves got to be pretty happy about that because last half we didn't have two shots and the whole we're doing really Christoph Creighton space looking for Cogran. Christoph with the shot wide left and Riverton's goalkeeper will do a quick pass out to a defender and it's going up the line on the right wing. Great touches and a turnover real quick. Cogren over the middle. Here comes Bailey as he tries to make a move up that right side. And that's taken away by Saltzgiver. Here he comes up the middle for Riverton. He wants a through ball. Oh, just off sides. As that one, it was a that one was close for Riverton. They're gonna say he was just past that last defender. It'll be a free kick coming for Star Valley. That was Landon Gold playing forward for Riverton. It was caught off sides, but pretty good run, almost step for step. Looks like Sessions will step back to take this for the Braves. Riverton holding line here as Jaden ties his shoe. Looks like he's going with uh, the bunny ears method and the triple knot, uh, quadruple knot. You can see your <laughs> occupational therapist expertise coming in yeah. handy here today. You know, there's lots of there's lots of great ways to tie a shoe, but the one that stays tied that's the best. A uh, collision on Riverton's own defenders here. Uh, not quite yet a field shift for us. Braves want to go quickly. They get into Roberts. Roberts sends one on the ground. Quick one hopper. Nice. And that's covered up by the keeper uh, for Riverton. Mr. Blake Gantenbean. Here's the ball up the right line. And tries to curve that one over to give his forward a chance. That's going to go a little bit too far into the arms of Hale. Hale's going to boot this one up towards midfield. This ball's high. Gets one out of the air by Riverton. Quick turn by Saltzgaver and taken away. Here comes Calgren. Calgren wants to launch one from 30 out. And once again picked up by Riverton. But uh, the Braves are being aggressive early on in this one, which is what you want to see if you're Coach Spencer and the coaching staff for the Star Valley Braves. Substitutions in for Star Valley. Dallas Coleman, number 11. And Archer Dugan checking in. That'll be Dallas Tolman and Archer Dugan that check in to the offensive midfield for Star Valley. As we have played just a little bit over eight minutes here in this contest, score still 0 0. Nice pair of passes right there. You always like to see that from your. Your player's connecting real quick. Here's Tolman. He's going to step to this ball. That's going to go off of his feet, though. It'll be a throw in for Riverton. Riverton elects, elects to play it short. Quick ball into the middle. Drop back. Bring it down that far side. Good step there by McClure. 
as Bueller wants to make a, a run at the ball. Oh, good move by Saltzgaver as he brings it up towards the middle of the field. Holding the defense or the offense online, and that ball is going to go out of bounds. Good hold there by the defense as they re really limited the angles of the attacking third for Riverton will be a throw in for Star Valley. Hard touch there by Dugan. That one gets away from him. Ball's dropped to the midfield. Anderson wants to swing it out wide over Saltzgiver. He wants a through ball. Saltzgiver, one hop, and good job there by... Good job by Crook by taking away the open spot of the goal and making that shot right there easy for AJ to handle. Good Quick look pass. there by Tarango as he had a shot on goal for Riverton. Ball being played in the midfield. Ball goes high. That's going to go out of bounds. It should be a throw in for the Braves. Substitutions for Star Valley. Jesus Allred and Kyler Erickson checking in. Jesus at forward for up lining up with Kristoff now. Nice throw. Jesus has been a, a multi-year varsity player for the Braves as well. And he brings a lot of firepower there for Star Valley. He did not play on Thursday um, for the Braves, but in that forward position, he brings uh, just some real explosive plays as well as abilities to finish, which which the Braves will definitely need in this game. Here comes Bueller as he gets around three defenders. He's got all right up ahead. He's going to just launch from there, and that's going to go out of bounds. And there's, there's two ways you can play that, right, Zeke? You can take that long shot, or you can... <laughs> You know, try to play a little bit more of the possession game. And um, I don't know if there's a right or a wrong way. just depends on the situation. You know, I think he was feeling uh, a little bit of pressure and a little bit unsure and wanted another opportunity to get a shot off. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Kristoff's our leading scorer. Yep, here's a good opportunity for the Braves as they discuss who's going to take this one. It'll be free kick for Star Valley. As both Allred and Bueller are back. Little misdirection here, just too high by Kristoff. Riverton wants to go quick. They'll play this ball short. Oh, bit of a mistouch, able to get through though. As Riverton's on the attack, there's a hard through ball there. That's going to be run down by Hendricks. That ball is definitely too far, though, for Riverton and picked up by Hale. As we are still scoreless in this contest as the clock ticks down to having played 13 minutes here for the Braves. If you missed the start of this broadcast, these teams are the fourth and the fifth ranked teams in the 4A West as we've got an illegal throw in. The center official signals that the foot came up. And so that will change possessions over to the Braves. Braves come in as the fourth in the 4A West and Riverton as the fifth seed. Good move there by Allard. Oh, tried to give and go with Flores just a tad bit too far. And it will be a throw in for Riverton. This ball gets over the head of McClure. Cooper's able to track it down, trying to get it back towards the middle of the field. That one might have been deflected off of Riverton, and they will say it did, and it'll be a throw in for Star Valley. Star Valley wants to go quick. Lex to go back towards the middle of the field. Here's Thompson. Thompson steps towards the ball. Good job there by Hendricks. Hendricks going to win that and settle it down, send it out wide The Tolman. Tolman wants to bring it back to the middle. Oh, good flick ahead to Bueller. Bueller's control. He sends it back into the middle. And this is a one-touch. Oh, 
off the the goal post. Crossbar. Yeah, I think of the football goal post on the back of the the goal there, and that's going to be out of bounds. But that was a good good little drop off pass for Allred. Just got sailed on him just a little bit. Here's Crook. Crook will win that one out of the air. Step two by Erickson, but quickly taken back by the Wolverines as they look to make a push. Bringing it up the near side. Here comes Anderson. Anderson has it, wants to bring it towards the top of the 18, knocked away by Hendricks. Too hard of a touch. One back by the Braves. They're looking to clear. This ball stays in bounds. Settled by Riverton. They send it up line. Oh, good move there by Milliken as he tries to bring it towards the top of the 18. And that is cleared all the way into the tundra. That looked to be one of Riverton's better possessions so far. I mean, able to maintain. They connected some passes. I'm unable to get a shot off, but um, that seemed to put them in a rhythm. This ball not able to clear here are the Braves. Still at the top of the 18. Oh, with the outside of his foot. Good look there for Riverton, but picked up by Hale as Hale records another save on the afternoon. 24 minutes left to play in the first half. Still scoreless between the Wolverines and the Braves. Left open over the middle. Great touch by Hunter Saltzgiver. Good move here. Right foot. foot. Oh, Good shot. A rifle there by Saltzgiver. And the I remember watching him play as a freshman, and he would just carve up defenses. And it looks like he's picking up right where he, he left off here uh, as that's Saltzgiver for Riverton. Uh, he's, he's even put on a little bit. He's a little bit bulkier yeah, than what he was as a freshman. Um, but the foot skills and the speeds, that you can definitely tell that's still there. Oh, Kristoff with an opportunity. and Good work here by Kristoff. He drops it to Allred. Allred will settle for the Braves. He's got space in the middle of the field. He wants to make a man miss. Sends it over to Flores. Give and go. Oh, that one goes behind Allred. Oh, great touch. That's Oh, look at this through ball. It's a foot race. Hendricks will run it down, but that'll be easily picked up by Hale. Sometimes I feel like Kai just wants to race that ball back to see who's faster. I'm glad he enjoys that. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's a good activity for one of us. Yes. And it's not, not nobody that's wearing a headset. That is correct. That ball sneaks out of bounds just past Duke, and there'll be a throw in for the Wolverines. Well, it looks like Coach spencer has got a great ball girl on the side there, always ready to throw in. He's helping out in more ways than one. Coach I know. Him, huh? Yeah, I wonder if Lydia gets a choice to be down there or if it's mandated. What are you talking about? They get a shirt this year. That's true. I mean, shirt and I, snacks. I would be doing the ball for a shirt. <laughs> yeah. They get paid better than, than, than you. I know. <laughs> Throw in for Erickson. He sends it into the middle. Good control by Aura. Taps it back to Erickson over to Flores. Braves looking for some spacing. Gets it over to Jesus. Again, working the middle of the field. Flores looking for a touch forward. Just a tad bit too hard. Oh, here comes Thompson. That's one person I wouldn't challenge. Yeah, Saltzgiver saw what was coming. And was <laughs> yeah, like, like, yeah, your ball, bud. <laughs> he's like, I'm going to... I'm going to live to fight another day. I don't know how I mean, good as my much weight as he's put on, <laughs> yeah. he decided it wasn't enough weight. Yeah, he's like, I don't know what my parents' dental plan is, but <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee it's not that good. Here it comes into towards the top of the box. It's flicked ahead. Good oh, job good job AJ. by AJ. Time to save. As he came up and met that ball at its peak and picks that one out of the sky and sends this one back into the midfield. Saltzgiver again moves towards the ball. He'll settle it back towards his defense. Send it out wide, and they'll totally reset as that ball goes all the way back to Ganton being the keeper. And this is something I'd like to see, I think, a little more in the girls' game is use those goalies as someone to drop back to. And It's always fun to see, and you saw Jackson use it quite a bit against us. You know, It really spreads the field and then creates runs such as this one where Saltzgiver's 
knifing through the middle. Oh, that's a beautiful through wing. ball. Left foot. The left foot was oh. not there. And that is why it's important to drill that in practice. You don't know which time you're going to get a shot off. Hopefully yep. you can function with that left side. That was a beautiful through ball by Saltzgaver as he puts that right into the box. I was able to get a redirect on it, just not a lot of pace, and it was picked up easily by the Braves. Here comes Bueller. Bueller wants to one-touch this one into the top of the 18 and just cleared away by Riverton. It'll be a throw-in for Star Valley. Huge Bueller wants to go quick. Bueller. Sends it into the middle of the box. Two headers by the Wolverines will clear it for Riverton. Good move here by Flores. He flicks it. Over to Erickson. Erickson drops to Flores. Flores trying to make a move. Has that one taken away. And here comes Saltzgavers. He's making a run up against uh, Thompson. Another great pass. They're going to say that one is off sides. As he wanted to work that left side again. Hendricks was there for the Braves. But this ball is going to come up a good 20 yards here. And it will be... A free kick for the Braves. You know, so far it's been pretty evenly matched. Um, evenly matched game as each team sharing possessions and touches and shots on goal. And no one's clearly dominating the ball up to this point. But I will say that Saltzgiver looks to be dominating the middle. I would agree with, with all those assessments. I think maybe Riverton has a few more quality looks on goal. Then what we have, but here comes Allred. Allred working the middle of the field. Oh, as he gets tangled up and goes down, they'll let that one play on. There wasn't a whole lot of contact, rather just getting feet tangled. Here comes Riverton. But you can see just from the early goings of this one as we take under 20 minutes to play in the first half, these two teams are not only evenly matched, but their styles are very similar as you, as you kind of see what what they want to do. We're seeing a lot of playing lo fast yep. through balls. Lots you know of through what I mean? balls. Creating, using, trying to use team speed. Um, not a lot of possession soccer being played. Yep. Yep, and I think that's uh, where both teams feel they've got the strength or the advantage, and so we'll just see which, uh, which one comes out on top at the end. Oh, big win there by Riverton. Good to see that young man get up as he went up high and kind of got his feet taken out from him. Good win here by Jenkins. Taps it over to Roberts. Roberts looks to create some space as the Braves are a little bit bundled up here on that far side. Drops to Sessions. Sessions looks to clear back to McClure. McClure has one on him. Good job. Able to win that battle. Mm. That's one thing when you look at the the Braves defense. Nobody's skipping leg day. No. No, that is a formidable <laughs> defensive line that they have. Yeah, uh, you I think we have an all state linebacker and safety back there. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty stalwart way to go. They're gonna yeah, say definitely they're not getting out physical. <laughs> no, no, I don't think as they're going to call a handball here right at midfield. Colgren will push back to take this for Star Valley. Star Valley pushes that line all the way to the top of the 18. Interesting that Riverton's that far pushed back. Here comes Colgren. What a nice ball. Oh, that's a good ball. One hopper to the keeper, though. I would have hoped to have seen Canyon cut in on that because I think that's why they got him out there. He's a really quick and fearless to the ball. Yeah, you like to see that on those free kicks. You like to see that ball, you know, take a bounce in the box or be one in the box, right? If he kicks that five yards further, then it's right at the keeper. Um, so that was a, a well-placed ball by Colgren. Uh, just weren't we just weren't able to win it in the box. Um, but you know, if that happens again, I I like the Braves' chances of right. If we can get Kenyon heard to use that concussion-friendly hair he's got going on, <laughs> yeah, that he would be able to definitely not your goal yeah that thing's got some good some good fluff to it i think it's grown something in that <laughs> <laughs> yeah the question is that is that all natural or do you gotta is there's there's extra hair care that you gotta do to maintain that great look that's what i want to know we'll have to 
pull him aside at halftime. <laughs> Gee, I'm sure. I'm sure Coach Spencer would love us down there taking hair interview <laughs> questions. Hey, if it's helping him get a goal, I feel like it's pertinent information. That's true. It's, but maybe not at halftime. We should do it right now. We should. <laughs> do, we have, do we have any from the side? <laughs> do we have any? Buddy on the field. Any on-field reporters? Oh, no, we do not? Okay. We'll have to get him later then as Roberts brings it up. That far side taken away, but good step there by Hendricks. Yeah, we could have our own Monday night football, European football. All right, pressure by Charlie. Good run here by Riverton as they bring it down the far side. It's going to be knocked out of bounds by... Star Valley throw in coming for Riverton as well as substitutions for both squads. I think we see Archer Dugan back in and uh, Mr. Isaacson coming in for the Braves right now. He just last minute and they just tossed already in and out, so I missed. Did you see what position he went to? I didn't even notice. Throw in towards the top of the 18. Here comes Riverton. Oh, uh, so strong right. Side kick. Is that Saltzgaber? I yep. mean, I'm assuming. Yep. As it will be a goal kick for the Braves. 14 minutes left to play in the second half. We are still tied up 0-0. Zero to zero. As AJ will put a foot into this one. Oh, good win in the middle by Sessions. Oh, man. Just reached out and nicked that. Great play coming up the side. Now he's got a little angle. Oh, good job there. And you saw that that's going to go out of bounds. It'll be a corner kick for Riverton. But you saw the communication that Grant and uh, Jaden had there between the defenders. As, uh, instead of Grant moving away from that sweeper position to pursue that right side run, he had Jaden cover that, and he dropped back to the center mid that was coming up the middle and he was able to cover that pass. So that was a really good job by the Braves communicating so they didn't end up with two on one and a, a runner unmarked. Here comes a run towards the outside of the 18. That ball's going to go all the way through as Riverton will be forced to reset. They reload it right back in as Hale there on that near side post to cover for the Braves. Seems like Riverton in the last few minutes has been able to maintain possession and generate a few more shots, and seems like they have a minor advantage lately. I would agree with that. <coughs> in the last couple minutes, as they've made a few of these runs down the middle, here's Saltzgaver. He shakes, and he bakes, gets into the top of the 18. He's making people miss. He's going to drop instead as there are too many What a great feet. teammate. You know what I mean? He had an opportunity in. Yeah, wanted to play the possession. They will let that one play on. You always hold your breath when there's contact in the box. Yep. They're going to signal here. It's going to be a free kick for the Braves. I don't know. Oh, they're going to bring it all the way back. So maybe so it was offsides. There was a shoulder thrown. Um and it was actually by the offensive player in the box. So okay. that's the that's the call they're calling right there. Here comes Allred as he flicks it ahead to Calgren. Calgren tries to poke that one forward, and it gets taken away. Got a little physical in there for a sec. Saltzgaver. Saltzgaver, just a sophomore, sends another good through ball, and that one's covered up. By McClure, he'll send it out of bounds. It's He's been doing a really good job of seeing and exploiting gaps on those passes. I mean, they're pretty close to right on each time he gives them. Yeah, if you can tell that. And there's not a lot of space that nope. he's threading there. Yeah, Saltz gave her a, a dynamic player. What's impressed me about his play early on is just how he can control the ball to create space to do those passes. And so here he comes here. He shields. As he shields Jenkins, he works around him. Right foot. Oh, he finds the back of the net. You got it? I did not see who got it. As Hunter Saltzgaver works as a magician, he puts the defender on his back, is able to get a turn, create enough space. He finds the far post. 
as Riverton strikes first here in the first half as they go ahead by one over top of the Braves as the Braves will substitute here before they kick off. That goal coming in the 28th minute here in the first half. As <coughs> Bueller and Erickson check back in. Yep, Bueller and Erickson had just come back in. You mentioned it a little bit, Zeke, that it it felt like there was a bit of a momentum shift that was happening uh, that last 10 minutes of play, and I th I think that the relentless attack was a direct product of that last goal. Yeah, as a coach, you know, you're. I think if they can take away um, the possessions that Hunter Salt's has given them as he's just uh, gone through about five or six defenders two or three times, you know, if we can keep him from touching the ball, I think it would be advantageous for us because he is electric. Well, you can tell and he that sets his teammates up oh, for Oh, there's success. another great through ball here as he gets Milliken on the run. Good oh, good job. step there by Crook as he sends it out. That's going to be a foul. As you see, you saw Milliken come in high and with the cleats up, and that's going to be a foul every single time. Oh, I'm sorry. That, I think that was yep. gold. Yeah. Was that Landon Gold? Yeah. It looks like he lost a shin guard. See, back when I played soccer, we didn't have little, those shin guards that you can just slip with, like, in your sock. In your compression. Yeah, it was like a full-on... You had to put it on and like hooked around your ankle. Like those things were not falling off. They're like industrial grade strength. Well, we've lost a midfielder, Salt Skivers. Here comes Hunter as he's trying to shake Hendricks. Good job there by Kai. As he's able to stick with him, Crook will just boot this one out of bounds. And it will be a throw in coming for Riverton. Yeah, Kai did a really good job of matching him step for step there and uh, not get caught reaching. Grant Thompson cutting cutting the lane off to the ball and taking it back out of bounds there. Throwing right. coming here for Saltzgaver. He is lined up even with the box. He sends this one high and into the 18, and that's going to be deflected off of Riverton. Throwing coming for Star Valley with just nine minutes left to play in the first half. You'd love to see the Braves... Mount a run here and, and find the equalizer before halftime. Yeah, that was off Milliken there. Here uh. comes Flores. Flores tries to work that near sideline, just ran out of real estate, and it will be a throw in for the Wolverines. Here comes Anderson. Anderson wants to go up line. That's knocked away by Crook. Crook battling on that near side. Knocked out of bounds. Riverton's going to go quickly. They'll take their time now. Throws to the space. Tries to curve it back in. That's going to go out of bounds. There'll be a goal kick coming for Star Valley as they will also utilize <coughs> some fresh legs and get some substitutions here. And Hurd and Caden Roberts. Roberts checking in for the Raiders. As Hurd and Roberts comes back in for Star Valley. Good boot there by AJ. Oh, good step by Bailey. That one just gets away from him, though. As that's going to be deflected off of Flores. Throw in here for the Wolverines. Here comes Thompson. Thompson trying Shoot to win in the, miss, in the middle. That's doing a, a great job of using his body. I was going to say, with Grant, he's got three swings before anybody's going to step in there and try and take that ball from him, though. No. Yeah, not I, said the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Salzgaver. He's, oh, good move there by Hendricks. Deflection off the Star Valley defenders to AJ. As that, that one could have, that one could have been dangerous for the Braves as they um, had a couple of different defenders there in the same spot. Ends up going back to Hale. Hale was ready, though. 
Here comes Erickson. Erickson makes a good move in the yeah, middle. Makes a man move. miss over to Colgren. Colgren trying to create some space. Sends the ball towards the right side, just clearing it for the Braves. That will be a throw in for... You know, he kind of lost control of that possession, but made a good decision on at least putting it down on the other side. Riverton takes a, a favorable spot to throw that one in. Here comes Bueller. Bueller wants to fire. He loads up. Oh, and that's going to be a field goal. Yep, he's quality at he, that. He is early or late on his season. So Bueller, the, the varsity kicker for the f state championship football team for Star Valley. Um, unfortunately, that will not put that points on that the board That will not put here. three points. Though I wouldn't mind doing something like that. It's like giving like some points or something if you can hit some outlandish shot from distance. I give him two points. Two points if you can hit the crossbar behind the goal or something. Here comes Saltscaver. He wants another through ball. That one's going to bounce a couple times in the box and picked up by Hale as we have just five minutes left to play here in the first half. Yeah, Saltscaver does a really good job again of finding gaps or lifting that ball and not necessarily, you know, touching it so hard that they lose possession, but creates an opportunity. Well, I mean, if, if I was a coach, I would just show, and uh, you want to teach your midfielders how to play, you know, just watch how Saltscaver is playing, right? So he's getting his, he's getting back on defense and then he's linking that, the defensive possessions into offense. Oh, that's a good boot through ball. One on one for yep. <laughs> Bueller, and that's going to be a goal for the Braves. What a beautiful pass by Bailey Calgren, as that was perfect, utilizing Kristoff's speed. As the Braves do find the equalizer here in the first half and tie this one up one to one. You know, and that plays to the Braves' strengths. You know, uh, not necessarily possession ball, but it was uh, four defenders there and only two Braves, and they took advantage of it. Well, and it, it goes right back to, you know, that, that through ball. We've talked about how hard it is to get the right pace on it. That one hit Kristoff right in stride. And so right as Kristoff broke outside of the defense, um, he was able to, to find that. And I love what Kristoff did when he got there. He didn't panic. You know, a lot of times you'll rush that shot and you'll kick it right to the the middle where the keeper is. He didn't panic. He just flicked it on the outside of his foot to the back of the goal. And that ties us up here at Braves Field 1-1. One to one. As we talked about how important it would be for the Braves to find an equalizer here in the first half, and they did. Now they've got a hold suit for the last four and a half minutes of this first half. Here comes Saltscaver, pursued by Allred. Hunter will settle. That ball is deflected. Comes back to Saltzgaver. Through ball here for Riverton. That's going to go long. Good win there by Calgren. Or that was Kai Hendricks. Hendricks. The shoes. Yeah, you got to look at the shoes. On the far side you of the field, that yeah. was the identifier. Yeah, you can't just go off the mullet. You got you to gotta look for the shoes. As good play there by Kai. Kai came in uh, when the Braves had some injuries last year and played some good varsity minutes towards the end of the season for Star Valley. And you can tell that that experience that he got from, from last year's varsity has really translated well to this year. One of the senior leaders for the Braves. Throw in here. Erickson's able to get ahead on that one, sends it out. With another throw in coming. Bounce at the top of the 18, trying to make a turn. Able to do so and deflected out by Crook. It's going to be a corner kick for Riverton. Their second one of the contest. You know, with three minutes left in the half here, um, this is a very big opportunity for Riverton if they can try and capitalize real quick on this. Oh, nice pass. They're going to try and hit it from a longer ways out. That ball is going to sail wide, and it will be a goal kick for Star Valley as we have just under three minutes left to play in the first half. We are all tied up one-to-one. One. 
If you're just joining us, these teams are neck and neck in the 4A West standing with Star Valley coming in as the 4 seed and Riverton coming in as the 5 seed in the 4A West. Here's a drop pass to Crook. Crook sends this back into the middle. Here's Erickson. Good settle by Erickson over to Bueller. Bueller trying to make a man miss. He wants to go up the middle. Kristoff has that taken away by Larson. Larson sends it back up to Saltzgiver. Saltzgiver wants to go out wide to Milliken. Milliken has a runner on this right side. Good replacement there by the right defensive back. Not able to connect on that pass as Spradlin was making a run on that right side. It'll be a throw in for Star Valley. You know, uh, even though that didn't go Riverton's way, they're doing a really good job of thinking about making the right plays. And a few more accurate touches that that'll give them some advantages if they're able to stay with that mentally as the game progresses. Quick touch here by Hurd, flicked ahead by Flores, looking for help in the middle. Good recovery there by Allred as he goes hustle. out wide to Roberts. Roberts That's wants to nice send a touch. through ball to Jesus. He brings it out towards the right side. Try Jesus getting shielded. Oh, he's able to win that ball on the far side. He's getting blanketed. He wants to go back towards and I think that's in the box. I think it's just, just outside. outside. Oh, man. As Allred was trying to make a move towards the end line, and he ends up uh, getting taken down. It'll almost play like a corner kick from that position. Uh, we could send down a Here comes Roberts. He wants to send it far post, trying to link it to Hurd. Good step there by Crook. Crook's able to send it back towards the top of the 18, and that gets knocked out by Canyon and it'll be a goal kick for uh, the Wolves. You you saw what they were trying to do there as they had Heard running towards that far post just a little bit behind. Canyon though is not able to to get a good redirect on it. I know we needed the hair care on that ball. <laughs> well, <laughs> well that that makes you wonder if he's even going to get any, any speed behind it or if he'll just kind of absorb, absorb like a pillow. <laughs> yeah. You know, we don't know what's in there again, like <laughs> I said. And so I feel like, you know, it could ricochet off at a higher point of impact. That's true. It could be it could, could be, be spring springy. loaded. Yeah. <laughs> Here comes Bueller. He works his way. Right footed cannon. Oh, looking for the near post. That was a good look by Kristoff right before the the half as the buzzer will sound. And this game has lived up to the hype so far as we are More all knotted up one to one as the Braves and the Wolverines will head into halftime. Let's take a break and hear from our sponsors, and we'll be back with more live coverage of Star Valley Braves soccer. Staying in touch with family, entertaining the kids, or connecting with your favorite sports team, Silver Star helps unlock the moments you live for. Connect to what matters most without lag, buffering, or dropped connections. Visit SilverStar.com and discover frustration-free Wi-Fi from Silver Star today. I think being in a small town, you just really care and you take more pride in the work that you do because you're working with your neighbors. These are people that you see out in the community. You know, you see them at kids sporting events and parent teacher conferences and the grocery store. You know, these are our neighbors. One of the reasons that people also come back to us is they trust us because we are friends, we are family. And so I think there's a lot of trust in the community. I'm Dr. Mark Johnson from Riverside Dental. This has been another milestone year for us. To accommodate our growing practice and our growing community, we've recently brought on Dr. Jorgensen. His addition to our team has allowed us to expand our hours to include Fridays, making us more available than ever before. Here at Riverside, we provide a full range of dental services, including dental implants, wisdom teeth removal, same day crowns, root canals, and pediatric dentistry. Come join our Riverside family as we help you on your journey to a healthier smile. 
Live coverage of Star Valley High School sports is provided by The Wright Company. HDC Siding and Gutters, no job too big or too small. Red Tail Therapy, strength for everyone. Call Ready Mix, located north of Afton. Miles Beverage, proud to sponsor Star Valley Sports. Quality Quick Loop, where quality comes quick. And by Star Valley Glass and Lock, automotive, residential, and commercial glass. Hey, this is Duke and Dal, and recently we decided to do a little less broadcasting and a little more banking. We even made our own logos. The Bank of Duke and Dal of Wyoming is open for business. Ooh, we already got a phone call. Nice. Bank of Duke and Dal of Wyoming. You want to make a deposit? Yeah, we'll take your money. As you can see, our customer satisfaction is on the rebound. Bank of Duke and Dow, how can I help you? Oh, you you want to make a withdrawal? No, that money's gone. Who do you think we are? First Bank of Wyoming? <laughs> Jeez. Plan your next vacation to scenic Star Valley, Wyoming with a luxurious day at Kodiak Mountain Resort. Enjoy your own comfortable cabin with the soaking tub and top amenities. A hot complimentary breakfast is always included. Book your stay at KodiakMountainResort.com. At the University of Wyoming, ideas come to life. It's where the spirit of innovation and boundless curiosity fuel our hunger for knowledge. It's where the past meets the present and our students shape a brighter future. I'm a student athlete. I'm a musician. I'm a mentor. And, and I'm, I'm a, a cowboy. cowboy. The world needs more cowboys. My best friend just had a birthday party at the Fun Zone in Afton. It was so cool. We got to play basketball, ping pong, and foosball. We were able to bring our own Nerf guns and even watched a movie on a giant projector screen. For my next birthday, I want to have my party at the Fun Zone too. Mom said the Fun Zone will also work great for my sister's wedding reception in a few months and next summer's family reunion. For reservations, visit svfunzone.com. I'm Pace Owens. I'm one of the pharmacists at Star Valley Health. We are positioned very close to the Infusion and Oncology Center where we can help provide novel therapeutics to patients that come in for cancer, rheumatologic, or other neurologic diseases. And we help support you in getting the right dose at the right time under monitored care to help you on your journey back to health. For more information, visit StarValleyHealth.org or talk to your provider about a referral. B&H Auto in Afton has been serving the Star Valley community for over 10 years. With a qualified and trained staff, you can trust B&H Auto for brakes, maintenance, repairs, tires, and more. That's B&H Auto on the north end of Afton. Service you can ride on. Avail Valley Construction is hiring and a great place for high school seniors to enter the workforce after graduation. Multiple positions are open with competitive pay right out of high school. To learn more about a rewarding career for those of any age, visit availvalley.com.
Down at the creek, Swift Creek Trading, that is. It's not about selling hats, boots, and jeans. It's about giving back to our Valley's youth and keeping our heritage and traditions alive. When you shop at Swift Creek Trading, you help us sustain agriculture. You help us perform. You help us compete. You help us brand our own businesses. So come on down to the creek. Swift Creek Trading, that is. Where, Where your purchase, purchase supports, supports us. us. Where your purchase supports us. So my name is Jen Johnson and I'm the head teller here at the bank. Well, I really enjoyed getting to know the people that work here. I feel like we're a really good team. I've made some friendships here. Um, I feel like we're all really supportive of each other and I feel valued as a team member and those efforts are recognized and appreciated. Um, when you call the Bank of Star Valley, you talk to one of us. You don't get a call center in another state. You don't get an automated system. It's one of us that are there to help you. Treat yourself to a luxurious staycation with a cozy cabin getaway at Kodiak Mountain Resort in Afton. Get the locals discount by using promo code SVI Local. Every cabin has its own oversized soaking tub, big screen TV, fireplace, and includes free breakfast. Or upgrade to the cozy couple's cabin with your own jetted jacuzzi tub. Find luxury right here with a staycation at Kodiak Mountain Resort. Use promo code SVI Local for the locals only discount. The SVI Sports Network returns now with more live coverage of Star Valley High School Sports. Welcome back to Star Valley High School as we are just about ready to start the second half here as the Braves and the Wolverines are all knotted up one-to-one. -one. Uh, Zeke, take us through some of the things that happened in the first half. Uh, it's been a pretty evenly matched game as far as possession goes and as far as... Um, even shots go. I think Riverton leaves the shot count 10 to 9, you know. Um, so as far as we've been running through, each team kind of playing a fast-paced game, looking for through balls and speed to get uh, most of their opportunities. And uh, so far, uh, the most dangerous player on the field uh, for this game uh, has been Salt's Gaver for the Riverton Wolverines. And then we... Um, have had Christoph Bueller uh, creating multiple scoring opportunities for the Braves. Those are your two goal scorers for the afternoon. Uh, Bueller's goal came just about at the end of the second half, right around the 35th minute. So he was able to break past the last line of defense on a beautiful assist from Bailey Calgren, and the Braves were able to tie this one up. Saltzgaver was able to score as well. He did it. Uh, by his lonesome, though, as he was able to get the ball at the top of the 18 and made a beautiful turn towards his right foot and found the far post as Riverton struck first in this contest right around the 15th minute. And then the Braves were able to find the equalizer at the end of the second half in the 35th minute. And that is how we are all knotted up here is as... The, we've talked a lot about in this broadcast what this game means for the 4A West as these two teams are fourth and fifth as uh, as they would. This is a possible matchup, you know, into regionals right now. Exactly. Um, and it's and the winner of this one will switch places. You know, if, if Riverton was able to win this game, they'd switch places with the Braves and the Braves would fall in that standing. So it's just a huge game with big implications. Uh, early on here in the soccer season. You know, with the with the seedings as tight as they are, you know, every game matters. It might slide you a benefit, especially if there's an upset somewhere. You know, if you can be up there, you kind of have a little bit of a safety net. Yeah, and we've talked about how regionals works here in the soccer world, but uh, you play every team in your region twice, and then your regional your region record 
will directly seed you. Here comes Saltscaver as he's able to get past Sessions inside the top of the 18. Sends the ball into the box as that one's going to be picked up by Rainey as the Braves, um, they've done a two-keeper system for most of the year. So uh, A.J. Hale got the start today as uh, Killian Rainey will be between the pipes for the Braves here in the second half. Oh, uh, but what a beautiful ball by Saltzgaver as he gave his forward a chance at that one. That was uh, just not able to get a redirect on it. Were the Wolverines? I'm pretty interested to see what the airtime was on that ball that Killian kicked out there. I mean, he left it up there. I thought he was goose hunting. <laughs> you should probably you Ooh. should get a stopwatch out and time <laughs> that. They're going to say handball here. No, I think they called Grant Thompson for... Uh, Taking out the receiver coming over the middle. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> that no, was in football, that looked clean. <laughs> he touched it first, and then <laughs> there was no pass interference. In soccer, that kind of body, that kind of body. Uh, you don't get a lot of leeway. You don't get a lot of leeway, no. Here comes Logan Davis. Well, that was just a love tap football-wise. <laughs> he was being tender. <laughs> Here comes Saltzgaver. He puts this one all oh, off the Killian. hands of Rainey. Good job there by Killian. As that was a that was a good recovery there because yeah, as that initially it slipped off his gloves. Saved a saved a goal. But that's why you put it in the box, and that ball coming off of Saltzgaver's foot, man, that thing is that thing's really humming. Over mm. to Hunter. Hunter's going to flick this one ahead. That was a great pass again by Saltzgaver. Oh, Ooh, that was a lot of contact. They're going to let him play box. through as McClure is going to clear. We're just going to be content with that. Yeah, you can see the coaching staff on the Riverton sideline might They might have some questions that. about yeah. that. They just want a little clarification. As this one comes inside the box, it's flicked back. Looking for a one-touch was heel. Not able to get a real good redirect. Here's a high ball placed by Anderson and quickly picked up by Rainey. Rainey wants to throw this one as he sends that towards the middle of the field. One hopper over the head of Hurd. Hurd trying to come back to it. Is able to, to win that. Shields off for Jenkins as he comes across. That ball is quickly taken away by the Wolverines. Here's Hendricks. Hendricks trying to regain possession. That's knocked around. Given back to Saltzgaver. Saltzgaver trying to split through Thompson. Not able to do so as that ball gets batted back towards the midfield. Wanting to go up line are the Wolverines. Good flick ahead by Hurd over to Bueller. Oh, big collision there in the middle of the field. And no call. Everybody gets up all right. I think they'll play advantage here as it's a slide tackle by Crook. Yeah, he's going to fill that one on the turf. Those are un very unforgiving, those slide tackles on the turf. Yeah, he seems unfazed. Yeah, he did maybe a good job. I saw, the hand big reach. Baby. <laughs> I saw the hand reach. I was like, oh, there's a raspberry. <laughs> yeah. Nothing like some rubber beads stuck in your leg to brighten oh, your it's day. The worst when they get in your shoe. I guarantee he's got at least three to 4,000 of those suckers in his shoe right now. Hey, you know, those soccer te cleats fit like a glove. Yeah. yeah, that would be terrible if they're in there. Ooh, worm burner. <laughs> this one stays on the ground. It's going to be kicked out by Roberts. It'll be a deep throw in coming for the Wolverines. Salt's giver will look for a runner. That ball is going to be headed out by Thompson. Goal or corner kick coming. For Riverton, Saltzgaver will do that as Riverton sets up a line towards the top of the 18. They got an opportunity to play a short game here if they want. They could have done it quickly. They elect not to. Hunter wants to chip the shot. This one in near post. That's going to bounce twice, three times. Nobody on that far post run, though. I can't tell if Caden went down on purpose to let Killian have that or not, but either way, it worked out for the best. I think he slipped if I had to, to take my guesses at it. Here comes Anderson trying to make the turn. Good step there by Sessions. Sessions wants to win it twice as he tries to bring it up towards the middle of the go. field. Taken away by Roberts. Roberts 
surveys. He's got one on him. He controls the ball. Good shielding there by Caden. Caden wants to bring it back up to the middle. Slips just a little bit on his return. Gets back up. Good recovery. Brings it towards the top of the 18. He's going to spread it out wide. No real angle for Caden. He might just play this one. Oh, great job taking it back to the... Tried to take it back to the top of the box and for a shot. Not a lot of help there, but great move. Deep throw in here for the Braves. Colgren will push up to do that for Star Valley. Not able to clear are the Wolverines. Here's Colgren. He's going to send a good ball into the middle. There's no one there, though. But no one there for the Braves. Here they come on the counterattack. Flicked ahead. That's going to go off the head of Hendricks out wide to Crook. Nice hips by Crook. He's familiar with turning around, so that's great to have him on defense. Here's a good through ball up, looking for a running heel. Heel tries to get there. He's able to force McClure to kick that one out. It will be a throw in for. Yeah. I would have liked to have seen uh, that co defender right there let him know he had a little more time than he thought he did and able to maintain possession. Salzgaver will throw this one. And that's why it's important for your teammates to kind of be in constant communication with you. Touch inside the box, trying to create some space. He is, does have a little, not able to get a right foot. Now he does with a hard hit. That one's going to be deflected once again by Rainey as it's picked up by You know, the Rainey's Braves. had a couple juggles right now, and uh, Riverton's firing at all angles trying to see if they can pick up something off of a rebound if they're not, if he's not able to sustain some of those saves. So far, the Braves have been able to keep the Wolverines out of the back of the net, uh, but the attack has definitely favored the Wolverines here in the second half as we've played nine minutes. I would say the majority of that time has been played on the offensive third for w Riverton as there are multiple players on the turf right now. Looks like they are going to call a foul on the Braves. Free kick coming for... Riverton as the Braves set up a wall. Here's Salzgaver. He's going to send one, and that one's going to go high and out. The field goal was good. But he had an idea that Hunter was going to try that one on frame. Just goes a little bit high. It'll be a goal kick here for Star Valley. Mass substitution coming in for the Braves as we take under 10 minutes out of the second half. You know, an interesting thing to note is I don't think really in both games have the Braves uh, subbed out any of their back line, you know. Yep. And so that goes to show you the kind of confidence they have in those guys and then also the fitness. And, you know, typically uh, fitness isn't what you expect out of two former football players but they're doing great this ball gets played out towards the outside quick move here by heel heel wants to send it back to the middle has a runner up towards the middle through balls broken up by hendrix good job there by kai sends it out wide physical play on the outside as that ball is chased down by isaacson tries to bring it back towards the middle and one by salzgaver salzgaver trying to get around good job there by the braves Picked up by Thompson. Thompson says, I'm done with this stuff, and sends it out wide. He's got a runner in Bueller on that far side. It's going to go out of bounds off the Braves. Throw in coming for Riverton. Good shield there by Salzgaver as he looks to make some room on that far side of the field. Good step there by Crook as he's able to knock it out. Throw in coming for the Wolverines. Quick throw into space. Trying to get Landon Gold open. Gold wants to make a move. And good play there by McClure as he came over all the way to the left side to help with that. Aggressive play there. They're going to get Hendricks as he came in uh, and knocked down Hill. And I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't think don't there was a foul there. I felt like Hendricks was run into while yeah. he was in the air. And he was just carrying momentum and you know and I, d I don't know if the official calls that if Hendricks doesn't help him up I know that's bad to say but he kind of made it a, a point to be a good sport and help him up 
which which kind of gave the ref some uh, official some time. Is here's two shots. That one gets blocked up by the wall and then stood up by the Braves. Thompson doing a great job of being a wall there. Good job there by Thompson. Here's a left foot one hop and picked up by Rainey. And one thing that is impressive uh, out here today, Zeke, is we have a really good sized crowd out here to cheer on the Braves this afternoon. It's always enjoyable to feel supported and and uh, hear some noise when you have possession of the ball. Here comes Allred. Allred tries to tap it around him. Sneak around, does not able to get that, but Bueller comes back for the ball. Here comes Kristoff. He wants to send one on the ground. That one's going to be you know, picked up by Ganton Bean. Kristoff does a really good job of using body feints. You know, I mean, he's quick with the ball, but he does a really good job of with his body selling the defender he's going one direction and then quickly adjusting another and the ball doesn't even move here comes Salskaver in the middle he wants to chip ahead he's got a runner on the outside good body there by Crook as he was able to be win that possession but goes out of bounds off of Star Valley throw in coming for Riverton Riverton will be even with their box Let's see if they try to throw one inside the top of the 18. They do. That one's going to be knocked away and controlled by Hendricks. Looking for Bueller. That one gets just past Kristoff. Over to Allred. Allred will settle in the middle of the field. Or here's Allred back to Flores. Flores looking for help. Here comes Jesus. Jesus will control. Mm. Trying to swing it towards the back of the outside. Good job there by Allred. Allred wants to send a through ball. Oh, that's a good ball. It goes into the box. Here comes Bueller. Bueller tries to one touch it back to the middle. Just not enough pace on that as it gets cleared by the Wolverines. One in the midfield by the Braves. They go out wide to Roberts. Roberts looking to flick one in. Ooh, oh, swing and a miss. Here's another one. Have another. Oh, and not able to get contact on it was Tolman as that ball came all the way to him in the backside of the 18 he was in the right spot just not able to get a redirect on it here comes Jesus as he tries to left foot that one into the box knocked away by heel but good possession there by the Braves Allred wants to go out wide Tolman being shielded off good job trying to keep that in they will say goal kick you know Jesus did a really good job on that possession trying to maintain and, and looking for opportunities you know what was uh great to see was uh christoph uh turn on the accelerator button when that ball went to the gap you know he actually created a lot of space there and opened up for that left-footed cross well and it was a, a great through ball by allred but then yeah for christoph to take that on the run and one one touch that back into the box yeah, the way he's kind of attacking right now, I'd like to see the kicker play a little more running back. Yeah, and uh, we've got just 25 minutes left to play here, and it, you do get a sense of a momentum shift. I think the first part of this second half yeah, was Riverton, and, and now it, it looks like Star Valley's winning some of these possession balls. Yeah, we've been maintaining possession for a while now. Great job by Crook. Isaacson unable to put a foot on it. Here's the throw in on that near side, and that's going to go out of bounds. And that will be a goal kick coming for Riverton. Want to do a, a quick shout out to the student athletes here at Star Valley. These student athletes really do know how to put student first as I'm just uh, athletic directors here's a shot here and that's gonna go wide Rob Erickson got me some of these numbers that for our our students and some of the GPA that they maintained on their different teams some standouts uh, throughout the season we have um, both both the the girls basketball and the cross-country team both maintaining 3.8 GPAs as a team throughout the season I mean that's pretty impressive you look at also the All-State Music and the indoor track team with 3.7 GPAs as a team. Um, and so I think that's just a testament that these athletes, they put in so much time on and off the, the, the courts and the fields and the, and the tracks. 
Uh, but they really do put that student part of student athlete first and just want to do a, a big shout out to to all the the Braves and Lady Braves that play but also the the teachers and administration that that get them in position to not only be good athletes but to be good humans going forward. Yeah, three eights really impressive. Yeah, that's what you had you know in I mean? high school, right? Eh, not quite. It's not quite. I think I was a three seven guy. Oh you know? yeah, right. Straight A minuses was how I like to roll. I didn't want to look that good. <laughs> you were <laughs> reputation to uphold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying that a, a four point oh could have been in your repertoire if yeah. you didn't have a rep to protect? Yeah, four point oh was definitely calculus was not my favorite. Here comes the ball towards the top of the box. One by Salzgaver. Oh, good physical play by Bueller as Bueller and Salzgaver had some words at midfield. Was just watching that. Looks like it will be a throw in for Riverton, though. Throw in coming for the Wolverines. Here comes Erickson. Erickson drops it to Bueller. Bueller strong touch. He settles. He wants to send it out wide. Hard touch by Hurd. Sends it into the box. Looking for Allred. Allred not happy. He wanted a softer touch there. Throw in coming for the Braves. Deep throw there by Hurd as he sends it into the box. That's headed out by Riverton. And it'll be another throw in coming for Star Valley. As we have just about 21 minutes left to play, there's a big throw by Bueller. He sends it high and into the box. He's going to take this off the deflection. He's going to put a right foot into it. Oh, just missing that near post. It's going to go out of bounds. Goal kick for Riverton. Goal kick here for Riverton as we are still knotted up one to one. Both those goals coming in the first half as we have had a scoreless second half so far here in Star Valley. Here's a high ball. Step two by McClure. That ball's going to get around him though. That's a hard touch here. Hard touch. By Riverton's going to send it into the box and picked up as Spradlin not able to control that for the Wolverines. Rainey will play it close. McClure has time. He sends it up line to Dugan. Dugan hard touch. Has that taken by Salzgaver. Salzgaver oh, great pass. reloads yeah. looking for a runner. Sending him out wide. Here comes Crook as he's able to get to that ball first. Punches it out of bounds. Throwing coming for the Wolverines. Larson will take that. He wants to play it back. Deep shot here into the box. Oh, good head by Thompson. Did a good job getting his shoulder on it there. And I think I think it's a good thing Grant hit that because Saltzgaver was right behind him. Uh, I think if he lets that go, Saltzgaver's got a, a good redirect opportunity. So good play there by Thompson. It looks like Thompson's on Saltzgaver, so that's a good thing on this corner. Yeah, talk Make about someone else score. a luxury having some tall defenders there to really shut down those header opportunities. That's going to go out of bounds and throw in coming for the Braves. You know, as they battle oh, for that ball. They're going to say that was deflected. Oh, really? Uh, I did not see that, but it must have been deflected. And out off the Braves. Another swing and a miss. Deflected in the referee's eyes. Whose eyes are closer than our eyes. So we got to take it. <laughs> they're the only <laughs> eyes that matter. It's so true. <laughs> Here comes Hurd as he sends it into the middle. Good one touch by Alvar trying to settle all the Braves. Ooh. Another field goal for Kristoff. And that's a tough ball to take. When that ball is bouncing on the turf, it's really hard to get your foot on top of it. You know, with the swing and the miss as we've seen today, it's impressive, you know, that he even contacted it as solidly as he did. Oh, yeah. There's no way I'm going to pick up any ball that's bouncing with any sort of accuracy. You know, and it was on frame. It was just high. Yep. If he could have struck the top of the ball just a little bit, he's hitting a rocket ship in the top corner. I'll help you out. I'll help you out. We'll make it. 
Here comes a ball in towards midfield. Looks like Charlie lost his glasses. Picks yeah. him up and puts him on and still plays. That's that's multi-talented right there. Yeah, that was impressive. Slide by Larson is able to deflect it off of Star Valley. Throw in coming for the Wolverines. Ooh. Oh, high kick there. They'll say play on. Good win by Larson. Jenkins wants to send it out wide. We got Archer with the ball here. Here comes Dugan. Dugan wants to bring it up line. Good run here by Dez. Dez saves it from going out of bounds. Lots of hand fighting here as they will call. Looks like Extension they're going to get Davis. The yeah, you saw Davis come in with both hands out. And that's where they call there. Dugan wants to go up line looking for all red. That goes out of bounds. There's some space in the middle. If they go quick, they want to. That's quickly closed off. Here's Session. Session's able to, to pass over to Dugan. Dugan trying to make a move in the middle of the field, and that's quickly taken away by Riverton. Here comes Salskaver. Salskaver making a run up the middle. He brings it towards the outside in a foot race with McClure. So an interesting thing to know is Saltzgaver's changed positions. You'll notice that Landon Gold, who was formerly playing forward, has now switched to midfield. And uh, as the half goes on, it'll be interesting to see if that's played to their advantage or not because the amount of good pass that Saltzgaver was creating in the midfield last half was, was really quality. Here's a pass inside the box, trying to get around Hendricks. Good help defense there by the Braves as they poke it away. You saw the Braves send multiple defenders Salzgaver's way, and I think that was a wise, wise, decision. wise decision. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's something that Coach Spencer put in at halftime as well. Oh, great oh. read. Good touches. Good step here by Davis. Davis looking to make a run. He wants to send a through ball up, and that one is one by Crook, but not able to be cleared. Here's another through ball as Rainey is there and picks it up for the Braves. The momentum has shifted again, and you can feel it as Riverton is currently the one on the attack. A lot of pushing and extension right there. And the foul is called. Anytime those arms go out in soccer, um, they're going to... They're going to whistle you there. I mean, you can you can bump, but if you go up with your elbow and extend out, that is not a legal maneuver. Calgren will take this from midfield. Look at, looks like Riverton wants to hold that line 10 yards above the box. Here comes the kick. Just not able to get the right amount of touch on that. That's going to go long. It's pretty amazing the, the kind of kicks that you see in the international play and the spin they put on it so that as it bounces, it almost it checks up. It's like golf. Yeah. Yeah, well, you look at those punters. They can do it. Yep. People who know how to play golf can do it. Is that you, Alan? I feel <laughs> like you golf a lot. Uh, I Yeah, that hasn't changed my ability to not be awful. So... <laughs> But it is a good stress relief. Good move here by the Braves on that far side. Here comes Sessions. Sessions goes down. They will let that play on as Charlie was the instigator. Here comes Colgren. Colgren will drop. Triangle pass out wide. You Isaacson know, will send that into Jenkins. Even though the Braves aren't necessarily creating, when they have possession like that, I feel like it gives their defense a break, and they're able to make some things happen. They will late whistle there. They will call a handball, and it will be a free kick. And that, oh, looks like we have a yellow card coming out. Landon Wold with the yellow card. Yep, as gold will come out. As number seven, Aiden Jones will check in for the Wolverines. So it's going to be interesting to see whether Bailey takes a shot right here. Um, and if he did at that back right corner where that goalie's standing, it would be advantageous for him, actually. Or if he's going to try and create a scoring get opportunity. Get one to check. Yep. See if he can get one near a pole. 
and it looks like they're going to a pole. Oh, that's a good high ball just wide. I think that was the, the distance that he wanted, just not the the accuracy that he wanted. But I think it, distance wise that was about perfect. That would have put it right over top of the head of the keeper. But just a little bit wide as it'll be a goal kick coming for the Wolverines. As you see the, the Braves get ready to sub here. Good save in bounds by Tolman. Sends it to Allred. Jesus wants to make a move. He's going to drop to Sessions. Sessions sends one right foot high and on frame. And that one's covered up by Ganton Bean. Yeah, not a bad opportunity for Sessions. I think maybe could have gone for that other post and created a little more movement. That would have been great. But on frame shots and on frame shot at this point. With only 12 minutes left to play in the second half, we are still knotted up one-to-one -one in this 4A West matchup. As Bueller, Erickson, and Flores check into the contest. If you're just joining us, both of these goals came in the first half with Salzgaver scoring in the 15th minute for Riverton. And that goal was covered up by... Christoph Bueller in the uh, 30th minute. And so this has been a scoreless, defensive-minded second half as coaches have made their adjustments as we've had a few quality looks on goal by both teams, but nobody's found the back of the net. Here comes Bueller towards the top of the 18, trying to flick it ahead, and that gets cleared out by the Wolverines. That's going to bounce once on the turf before Crook redirects it out of bounds. It's going to be a throw-in coming for Riverton. Need me to keep them someplace if we get them caught? 11 minutes to go here in the second half. That ball goes out of bounds. Throw-in for the Braves. The Braves just barely subbed in three offensive players. you got to think Coach Spencer was thinking to get some fresh legs in here for the final push. Throw an up line. That's going to get knocked away. And controlled by Erickson. He goes out wide. Looking to Tolman. Tolman trying to drop too hot, though, as that goes past Flores. Here comes Riverton. As Gold tries to make a move on that right side, he sends the ball back inside the box. Here comes Salskaver. Salskaver weaving his way through traffic. He brings it back. He's going to left foot cross into the middle. One touch by Larson. Oh, and it just goes wide. And it will be a goal kick coming for Star Valley. Great shot creation again there. Yeah, that was Anderson who came with making a run at the top of the 18. Good ball by Salzgaver. Just not able to redirect it on frame. And it will be a goal kick coming for Killian Rainey. Here's a low ball into the middle of the field. Good step to by Tarango as he comes through. They're going to say that was a little bit too good, though. Handball as it just caught the outside of his arm. It will be a free kick coming for Star Valley. Bueller will push back to take this for the Braves. I think in this situation where everyone's setting deep, if they could run Kai up a little bit and create a pass. He's going to put this low and on the ground. Good win off the one hop. Here comes Salzgaver. He's going to send it to his runner on the outside. Here's Spradlin. Spradlin. Oh, that's a good through ball. But covered up by Thompson. Good control there as he sends it back to the middle. Tarango wanted nothing to do with Thompson right there. One touch towards the outside. Spradlin wants to send it back to Salzgaver. Salzgaver, good step by Hendricks. Hendricks pokes it away, but the Wolverines maintain possession. Hard touch by Anderson. We'll give the ball back to Erickson. Erickson, good control there. He sends it over to Bueller. Bueller creates space between him and Flores. Flores wants to go towards that left side. Uh -huh. Oh, and that's going to be too far. As Flores was wanting to go towards that left side, he probably had a little bit more space on that right side with Allred running in that forward position, but just not able to connect over there on the far side. Here comes the Wolverines. As we have just eight minutes left to play, Rainey will come up and cover that for Star Valley. 
these two teams have played a scoreless second half as both goals came in the first half and you just get a feeling right now the way this ball is being played in the midfield by both teams that this game is almost destined for overtime. The Braves would love to win it outright though as they are battling in this last eight minutes. Good win here by Tolman. Tolman's going to send it out wide. No one there though. Collision in the middle of the field. Heel will take that and he sends it towards the sideline. That's going to go out of bounds as substitutions are coming in for the Braves. As both Canyon Hurd and Bailey Calgren will check in for Star Valley. Good minutes there by Dallas Tolman as he played that right wing position. Step two by Bueller. That's going to go through his legs. Flores wants to go and go quickly. He sends it up towards Allred. Knocked away. Cooper has time. Here's McClure. He'll settle. That ball just gets away from him and goes out of bounds. And it will be a throw in for Riverton. Larson will play this into the middle of the field. Here comes Anderson. Anderson, one touch. Oh, that's a good through ball. Here comes Gold. Oh, too hard of a touch. And covered up by Rainey. As that was a great through ball by Anderson there. Gold just had too hard of a touch on that first one. If he's able to flick that towards the outside, Killian had already started his slide. And he might have found himself with an open net. As it was, good aggressive play by Killian Rainey to come up and save that. Here's Calgren. Calgren directing traffic as that ball still has not been cleared. Good job there by Bailey. Oh, over the shoulder kick by Allred. Unfortunately, did not have the pace that it needed, and it's easily picked up by Ganton being for Riverton. As we take under six minutes left to play here in the first half. Here comes a kick into the middle, cleared away by Thompson. Throw in coming for the Wolves. Big throw here. It goes towards the top of the 18, knocked away by Hendricks. Hendricks wants to send it towards the outside. No one there as that ball gets pinballed around in the midfield. Heard able to jump up, get some on that, but not able to redirect. Here comes the Wolves. Wolverines try to punch it towards the, op the top of the 18 and quickly cleared away by the Braves. It's been pretty good possession for the Wolverines lately. Wolverines will settle. They want to chip shot this one into the 18. Give Sauce Giver a chance as he just about got there. Good job by Hendrick shielding and Rainey coming out towards the top of the 18. Soccer is different from a lot of sports because it's a game of almost, you know. Yep. There's almost many opportunities for people to score or they've almost scored or if they would have had this touch. And if we could just... Good run there by Bueller. I always get a little bit nervous when those soccer cleats hit the track. Yeah, that's nerve-wracking running full speed, and you're like, oh, I yeah. hope this doesn't slide I out. I hope this person has more coordination than me, and luckily Kristoff has a lot of it. Here comes Erickson. Erickson brings it towards the right side. It's going to be knocked out. Throw in coming for the Braves. Good opportunity here as we go just under four and a half to play in the second half. Still tied one-to-one. -one. Braves find themselves even with their box. Here comes Erickson. Erickson's going to load up, throw it high, and just over the head of Bueller. Heard on the back for the cleanup. Here comes Kristoff, left foot. Oh, and he puts his hands on his head. He wants that one back as that left foot goes wide of the goal. Goal kick coming for the Wolverines. You're going to see a frantic p pace play. There's four minutes left, and both teams are pressing. As I don't think either wants to go to overtime. Goal kick here by Riverton. Take a quick second to tie his shoes, which is a good strategy if you're up by one. Good win by Flores. Hard touch, though. Taken away by the Wolverines. And they're going to say that was last touch by the Braves. Here's Saltzgaver giving a run. Good step, two by Erickson. Knocks that out of bounds. Once again, going to the Wolverines. Wolverines have their midfield pushed up. <laughs> Salskaver wants to go quick. He sends it towards the top of the 18, knocked away by Thompson. He'll get to retry that one. 
as we have just three minutes left to play here in the second half. Here's a good ball into the box over everyone's head and out of bounds. They're going to say that was not touched by the Braves and it will be a goal kick for Star Valley. I couldn't tell if Colgren's flowing hair was able to make contact with that or not. They're going to say it did not. Yeah, we've got a wide assortment of hair this year on our Braves. Yeah, you can you can tell Bailey's is flowing manes. <laughs> Bailey's is conformed afros. around his hat. Like this is the only time I I don't see Bailey wearing a hat. You know, fancy mullets, <laughs> rugby cuts. There's an adjective that has never been used to describe a mullet. Fancy. One at the midfield. This ball gets away. Over to Larson. Larson, good move here as he tries to bring it up the right or the left side. Knocked away by McClure. Well, the Braves' defense here is starting to fill uh, 80 minutes of play this half. Yeah, you're seeing some hands on hips and. And they're probably not used to playing in the sunshine, too. So that's a whole nother heat element that. Yeah, soccer's a winter sport here in Wyoming, <laughs> yeah. as you can tell by the frozen tundra on the side. Uh, close throw nice in. They cross. send it to Anderson. No Nobody one. home. Oh, aggressive play there by Gold as he comes in. Here's Salt's giver as he gets triple teamed once again up the middle. And good job there by the Braves. Hurt able to save it. I think that's a pretty good strategy with him. Let anybody else on the team but him beat you. Well, we've seen throughout this game, Salzgaver has given his teammates several opportunities with beautiful through balls. Um, but yet he's the only one w that has connected on a shot. And so I think that's a good strategy that um, anyone but him. Here comes Bueller as he's making a good run as Gan being pushes all the way to the top of the 18. Good job by him coming up to win that ball. Soft touch by McClure, left foot. Here comes Salzgaver. Really? Oh, great step by Thompson. Yep, just getting a body in front of him is not a bad thing. Good shielding there by oh. Cooper. Kelly needs to get a little sure on those hands or is he gonna create himself some problems? But good job, it was a good job. I, that's just one thing you know as a goalie you have to work on and drill incessantly is being able to feel that you know or if it's hit hard and you have to bounce it off it's only one bounce because when you let it roll away from you there's lots of feet in the box yep typically Ooh, aggressive stab there by Saltzgaver look at Crook Crook's making a run all the way up into the offensive third here's Bueller Bueller right foot oh one hopper covered up by Riverton and that will do it here in the second half. We are all tied up one to one and heading to overtime. Let's take a quick break to hear from our sponsors and we'll be back with overtime coverage of the Star Valley Braves. Have you checked out the most awesome Ford store in Eastern Idaho? We've been around for years. And we've got top awards in the region for customer service and satisfaction. We're Caribou Ford in Soda Springs. Right now, we have the best inventory around and more on the way. Or you can custom order your new car or truck just the way you like it. We're Caribou Ford with the famous warranty forever. And we're still keeping it simple in Soda Springs. Simplot Smoky Canyon Mine is proud to be a large part of the Star Valley community. The mine supports local families with jobs and opportunities. Smoky Canyon Mine is a major supporter of community projects. Not to mention the phosphate ore that comes from the mine helps farmers and ranchers around the nation put high quality products on your kitchen table. Simplot Smoky Canyon Mine, bringing Earth's resources to life. 
To learn more, visit Simplot.com. Star Valley Disposal and Royal Flush Septic have been serving the local community since 1999, including residential, commercial, and construction. Star Valley Disposal and Royal Flush Septic is your company for all of your trash needs, along with septic pumping and portable toilets. For the dependable company that has a proven trust and reliability, contact Star Valley Disposal and Royal Flush Septic at StarValleyDisposal.com. That's StarValleyDisposal.com. So we we're just made aware of the rule change here in the 4A class this year. They were, are not doing any overtime periods, so that game will end in a draw, one to one, uh, as Riverton comes into Star Valley and draws a tie. As these two teams will stay fourth and fifth in the 4A West. So we appreciate you coming in and listening and watching the Braves. But this one's going to end in a tie. We mentioned earlier that 3A <coughs> goes right into penalty kicks which I think is awesome. I'd love to see 4A do that, but they've decided just to go away with overtime, and that'll end in a draw, and then it'll reflect such on the record. So we appreciate you joining us here on SVI Media for this coverage of Lady Braves and Braves Soccer. We hope that you've enjoyed it here on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. Alan Simpson and Zeke Mendenhall on the call. We hope that you'll join us again as the Braves have several home games here to finish out the season. We hope you come back and listen on SVI Radio. Of high school sports. We are Western Wyoming's leader in live coverage of high school sports. This is the SVI Sports Network.